Hello and welcome to Provis Gaming. So today we're going to be doing things just a teeny bit different. Uh, obviously, as you probably have noticed, the screen is going a little bit fast. That's because rather than make you guys watch as uh, I go through the painstakingly slow process of setting out a city from scratch, I figured I'll just record it and then uh, just play it back in two times fast. Yeah? I hope, uh, I hope that works alright for you guys. So, this as I've said in the previous video, is just going to be a, uh, a little slum casino city sort of thing. It's, it's intended to be poor. As such, uh, when I'm laying out these roads, I don't mind that I'm going to be making these uh, pretty, s well, pretty grid-like, I guess. I mean, it doesn't have to be interesting. It's just a slum. So, right now, I'm, I'm pretty much just experimenting. And you might ask, why I'm being so very picky about the grid lines. And you can see I'm actually struggling with this quite a bit. The reason is, the grid from an avenue is actually a lot uh, further away, or at least further between roads, than a regular road. Uh, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, I believe that the, the way that this works is that uh, between two avenues is enough room for... I don't know, two skyscrapers, or whatever that standard uh, block size is. And between uh, regular roads is room for just one. Now, if you do from a avenue to a regular road, you'll have an awkward one and a half. That's been a problem I've had with a lot of my cities for a while, because I'll have a, I'll have a main avenue coming in, and then I'll have uh, little little regular roads coming off of that, and it has this really awkward, you know, one and a half, uh, one and a half block space. It just doesn't quite work. I did just place down the town hall. Uh, I'm not afraid to put it in a corner because I'm not intending to do any expansions with it. So that frees me up a little bit to save some space and just put it in a nice little corner. Add a little industry. This isn't intended to be an industrial town. That's why I've got my mining cities for that. Uh, so actually, let's name it real quick. Frostfire Glen. That sounds pretty good. Um, this town is really more commercial driven. The casino will definitely be a big part of my income. And I want to have a lot of residential. Because we've had worker shortages in the other towns. So if I, I'm hoping that if I overdo it in the residential here, they'll start commuting a little bit. That's the theory anyway. Yeah, the guy wants me to build an arcology. I don't know, maybe I should count that as a vote. <laughs> Since I'm not really hearing much from you guys here. You may notice the music is a little bit different. Um, I am using Windows me uh, Media Player to make these videos. And when it goes two times fast, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't know how to make the sound two times fast. Personally, that's okay with me. I forgot to fix that avenue there. I'll get that in a second. Um... Yeah, the music would sound really weird two times fast, so I'm just I'm just splicing over a little bit of stuff. Kind of classic jazz. More uh, more reminiscent of um, SimCity 3000, which I love the music in that game. It actually was really good. This one, I don't know, doesn't quite do it as much for me. All right, so at this point, I'm just trying to you know gradually expand. I'm trying to work with my money getting a bond right now. This upsets me a little bit because I actually did transfer a million dollars from Eversummer over to uh, over to Frostfire Glen. But the money has yet to arrive, so I don't know if it just sort of disappeared into limbo or what, but uh, I don't have it for some reason. <laughs> there you go, petition to build a gambling house. That's good. Um... Yeah, the money will turn up eventually. This sort of thing has happened before. It's usually a server issue. I've tried syncing up the servers a couple times, just didn't want to keep coming back, but... Eventually, usually, the money will show up. So, probably tomorrow when I play this, I'll get a message saying, Hey, by the way, a suitcase of a million dollars just sort of popped up from an uh, anonymous campaign donor. <laughs> One thing I am doing differently, I want you to notice, is that... I am trying to spread the commercial out amongst the residential. Uh, I do this very deliberately because I believe that uh, when a sim comes back from work, 
one of the first things he wants to do is either go shopping at commercial or visit a park. Well, I haven't put any parks in yet, I will later, but if I put the commercial right next to the housing areas, or kind of mingle it in there, I suspect that um, instead of driving around, they'll just use they'll just walk. So close proximity is a way to make sure they get that stuff in. And by the way, if they can get to a commercial area or a park, you know, their, their happiness raises. They have to be able to uh, have a house, get to work, shop, and that's all they need to raise their happiness. Just little bit by little bit. It just takes time. So by putting it close, I'm hoping to maximize the uh, the happiness of my sims, and therefore I can uh, increase the density very quickly. And you can see that my excess of commercial is actually drawing attention from my other cities. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add a school in. I don't really need it, but I'm going to, just because I'd rather have a slightly educated population off the bat. Pop it down there. There we go. I, this is not going to be a heavily educated town. Don't forget, this is a low wealth area with for gambling. I mean, you know, I'm, I, I, I want them to gamble. In my experience, the more educated you are, the less likely you are to gamble, or at least excessively. But that's not what I want from them. <laughs> there we go. Upgrade. I am buying power from Ostfort, because I didn't want to, you know... I was expecting the million dollars to pop in so I could buy a big uh, power plant, but that just didn't happen. Alright, so we are having a lot of health issues. I think it's time to pop down a clinic, and uh, let's put it right over... Eh, 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 right, right there? Right there, yeah. Hooky. Kids don't get to play hooky in my town. Not a chance. I didn't get to play hooky when I was a kid. <laughs> Extend the avenues a little bit. I think I will have three avenues... Um, going down the center area, and the rest will just be regular roads branching off of that. Kind of like having three main arteries in the town. That's the theory, anyway. And off of those, I can branch off casinos and whatever other commercial or touristy sort of things that I would expect generate traffic. That's the theory, anyway. All right. Because I'm going to be getting a lot of uh, gambling things, I know that crime is going to be an issue, so let's plop that there. Actually, I'm already getting 10 criminals a day. That's kind of disturbing. Let's get the almighty sign, some extra cars to deal with those 10 criminals a day. Already? No. No, no, no. No big firehouse. An expo center. Okay. This is something that I will definitely be putting in the city. Um, as you can see right here. What it does is it allows you to schedule big events that can rake in lots of tourist money. But, uh, let's get a classroom here. Wait a minute. That doesn't overlap. I deliberately put it there because I said the gray area wouldn't... Ah, fine, whatever. You know what? Fine, whatever. Hang on. A little space. There we go. Um, the Expo Center generates revenue because from all the tourists coming to, you know, see your event. You have to have roads that are capable of handling that much traffic but it's definitely a great way to draw in tourists and get them to stay for the gambling. So that's that's my intention here. Looks like nothing's going to expand for a little while, but... Let's get a park. I want this to be low wealth, so I'm not putting in a big nature one, but... Eh, that's about right. Big, good size. Let's put it right there. Yeah, look how happy that makes those people. Is it just me, or do they just start walking on the sidewalks a lot more than they were a second ago? Maybe they're walking to the park. I don't know. Like I said, they like parks. Parks are a good thing. Those are critical. A commercial. Notice how I'm spreading out the commercial. A lot. That's in, that's very important for me. All right, let's join this up. I do need a little industrial just to provide some basic jobs, but again, that's not the focus of this town. I'll probably, hopefully, eventually get rid of them. But for the now, I'll just I'll have some and I'll limit it as much as I can. I don't like putting housing next to that, but oh well, what can you do? Looks like people are getting happy really fast. Like I said, if you got the rest the commercial stuff next to that, they're happy. So got a lot of traffic though. Um, let's get another park. Eh. 
This doesn't quite fit anywhere nice. I don't like that. I do. It says I needed some medium wealth choppers, so I, des I definitely want to put down medium uh, parks at some point. But an arsonist? No. All right, let's let's upgrade the police station just a little bit to deal with that. Hopefully, we'll catch him in the act. The problem with a regular police station is that they can only catch a criminal as he's like committing the crime. They can't preemptively catch a known criminal. You have to have a precinct for that with a detective wing. So that that I will definitely need at some point. Like I said, this is a casino town. I will definitely need it, but for now, that will cost way too much. More industrial here. Now tell me that isn't some pretty cool music right there. Some decent jazz. Love it. Love it. Um, upgrade of the sign, of course. Ambulance, a little more clinic space. Or not. Never mind. Ah, right. Yes. Let's get the gambling going. All right. We got. Uh, we've got what we need. Let's place it right about there. Yeah. I think that'll do. Uh, we're definitely going to need more police to deal with that. More jail space, because we're already dealing with a lot. The way gambling works is... Um, you need to put down a big sign. Like like Las Vegas-style sign to get their attention. And then you got to put down like some hotel space so they have somewhere to stay. Which I'll do in just a second. Right, I want more money. Um... Yeah, some cheap rooms for low-wealth people, that'll do fine. And you'll also want to have, like, a comedy club or a blackjack table or something. Um, do I want three rooms? No, I think I'm fine. Nickel slots, that's good for low-res people, and comedy club will bring in more low-wealth tourists. So that's good. And you basically just create an avenue that's just, like, filled with gambling, cheap thrills sort of stuff. That's, that's, that's how you do it. Very Las Vegas style. Eventually you can build up some bigger stuff, but for now, let's grab the mansion, the mayor's house. There we go. People like that. We'll, we'll move up to that eventually, but for now, just cheap stuff. Can't afford the big ones. Those cost a lot of money to operate. All right, right now it says that we've got a, 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 a um, we're losing money, but in reality, the revenue is higher than the expenses. So that's going to change over the course of the next 24 hours. I'm already making a profit, really. So, it's deceiving in that way, but... What's that doing there? It's deceiving, but in reality, I'm doing just fine. What do you want? No! I swear, I'm not giving you a large fire station. Go away. A little more bus stops. That makes people happy. I will admit, working at two times speed... More parks. Working at two times speed uh, and watching that ripple of happiness and, in a, you know... Pretty, going fast. It's pretty pretty fun. I like it. All right, so I, I said that I need to get more parks. Let's let's look at what we can get here. Ah, uh, let's let's just get one of those. Yeah, that works. You see what I mean? The ripple is cool. All right, get another block. Transportation. Okay, so he wants to get some buses so he can start reeling in the tourists. I think that's a, probably a good idea. I'll do that eventually. We'll definitely need mass transit, especially if I'm going to put in an expo center. That's just that's just required. Yeah, the land value is a little low. I need medium areas, medium medium wealth, to justify some of the shops. So, um, that's not really any good. Let's see if we can get one of these big community parks right there. Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, there we go. That should raise the wealth quite a bit. Ah, yes. Gambling HQ. First, we'll need to make a lot more money, but that's going to unlock some pretty useful stuff further down the line. Yeah, see, we're already turning out a profit. Uh-oh. I lost connection to servers. And yet the game goes on. I think that tells you something. When they say that this game can't run... Without, um, without their servers, it's a lie. It can run. It'll just store it and update later. Just a big old fib. We need some garbage. I'm, I haven't, I haven't been taking care of myself there. Garbage trucks. There we go. Nice and easy. All right. Uh, check my utilities. I still need power. What about solar power? Let's get a solar power plant. 
Um, you know what? I think I think I can put it right next to the garbage. Now let's give it a little room. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I haven't done solar power before. Let's just try that. See how it works. Um, I definitely need more fire coverage. This is... Hey! We're expanding! Didn't take long, did it? I'm telling you, when you put the commercial nearby... I mean, I... I, I intend on this being a, a high population city, so... You know, the other ones, it wasn't as big deal, but this time I definitely have to be planning out my zones very carefully. Shuttle Bus Depot, we said we were going to do that. Let's just do it right here. And, uh, yep, that'll do. Uh, why? I thought that guy wanted a bus depot for, uh, for his tourist thing, but I guess not, because it didn't, it didn't update. That's confusing. Alright, well, we want a park and ride. Nah, that's just awkward. Takes a weird space. Eh, okay. Add on a shuttle bus. Bam. Okay. Oh yeah, he wanted a bus terminal. That's the big expense. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. Eventually, maybe. But for now, no. Alright, so we need more money for this. Which, that, that's gonna take a while. I may need to get a second casino for that to be justified. It's kinda hard to get that. Yes, yes, I know. It stinks. I'm sorry. I don't even have any garbage in there yet. How can it stink? I'm doing fine. What are you talking about? I'm collecting all the garbage. School's doing okay. Ah, we can upgrade this. Again, though, I'm not adding any expansion, so no big deal. All right, we're ready to expand in a few places. That's good. Very good. Makes me happy. Nope, no airports. I don't like airports. They, um, they cost a lot of money. They drastically lower land values. You can't have big skyscrapers next to them. It's just not great. Not my thing. Not my thing at all. All right, let's extend this all the way. Now we have our three avenues finished. Add a little more industrial, just for the jobs. Add another grid. More housing. Okay. Like I said, it's all about the housing right now. See if we can't get... You know what? No, let's just forget it. We're not going to do any more avenues. So let's just do regular blocks now. That'll do fine. Okie doke. Good. Very good. Lost connection again. What the heck is going on? Someone's wrong on their end today. Let's expand the healthcare a little bit. More apartments going in. Good. Good, good, good. This actually is... Uh, it's actually expanding a lot faster than I thought it would. A bet? You want people to go to my parks? Okay, I'll take that bet. I'll bet you I don't have to add any and they'll all go to my parks. <laughs> Free money. Yeah, it's only been about... Um, maybe about 40 minutes of gameplay. Maybe about uh, 18 minutes for the, for the video itself. And it's already expanded pretty fast. Let's expand our power. Yep, I got my parks. Ha! That was a bad bet. You lost your money. Alright, we're doing good here. We need more fire trucks. And of course the sign. Small fires everywhere. Oh, that's that's troublesome. Yeah, those low res apartments. I mean I'm sorry, low wealth apartments. Whoa, what the heck? Wow, we have like literally gridlock right now. There's like no movement. I need to, I need to upgrade this road. There we go. That fixes it. Wow. I don't see that every day. Too many moving trucks. <laughs> Way too many. All right, we're getting some good money out of this, actually. About 18k a day. That's that's not bad. Fireworks? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's get another truck to deal with that. Hopefully that'll be okay. It's probably going to fail, but... Oh, I have to crap amount of money. That's fine. It won't take long. All right, deal with some of these abandoned... Oh, wow, lots of abandoned buildings. That's not good. Goes to show how many fires I've had to deal with. Okay, it's good, 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 good. These guys are commuting down to my other cities. That's good. And they're taking my students. Okay, I got the excess space. That's fine with me. Little classroom. Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. Way too many fires. Man, this is insane. Herp. 
Hey, what the heck? It said I had less than five fi fires, and then it gave me the red X and said I failed. What the heck? That's just downright upsetting. Okay, well, anyway, moving on. Let's upgrade some of these roads just for traffic. So we've got something big going on in here. Um, man, they're having a hard time with all that fire. There's a lot of it, but we'll be all right. Just got to deal with all these abandoned buildings. Ah, another uh, arsonist. I don't... Nah. Crime in progress. I've got as much... I've got as much police coverage as I can get just out of a regular station, so this is going to have to do. Alright. Yeah, we're... Oh, there's a criminal. But apparently my police aren't going to arrest him because he's not committing an act yet, even though I know he is going to. Let's, let's look at him real quick. Soapy Lester. Well, now we know why he turned to a life of crime. His parents clearly hated him enough to give him a name like that. Oh, he's shoplifting! Got him. That, that didn't take long. Alright, these guys are ready to increase in density. Fix up that street. There we go. Okay. Uh, garbage part. Yeah, why not? We can do that. Upgrade the hall. Which is starting to look pretty nice. Notice how fast that's upgrading. It's only been about 45 minutes or so of gameplay. And it's already upgraded because I've got, uh, 28,000. Took me like four episodes with the, uh, the other cities to get that far. Man, that's a lot of garbage. It's alright, we'll be fine. They really want me to upgrade the city hall. It's just it's just not going to happen. It's just not. Can't do it. Definitely need more trucks, though. There we go. Hey, free money. Let's uh, let's invest that in our schools. Why can't I have more school buses? That's weird. All right. Well, whatever. So rubble. Get rid of these houses. Okay. Density is looking really good in a few places, actually. Time to upgrade some of these roads over here. I think we'll be good. Upgrade that, that, that. Um, anything else? Do I want to upgrade those yet? Maybe not yet. Maybe not that. Some more abandoned buildings. There we go. All right. Wow, I just noticed the light on the water actually is a pretty good effect. You can't see it now, just a second ago, but it was pretty good. A couple more blocks. Is that in the... Eh, do we want that? Nah, I need room for the uh, solar power plant. There we go. A little beachfront housing. That should be that should be worth something. Whoop! Whoa! What was that? There we go. Uh uh uh. Much better. Okay. Um, making plenty of money out of that, but not enough for a gambling HQ. I'm gonna to need to place another casino. Where do I want it? Over here? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Good. Let's plop down the sign, because that's what gets people's attention. We need some more housing. We need... Well, let's get the medium wealth stuff. Blackjack tables and a lounge should probably do good. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Good. What are you happy about? All right, he wants to give me the mansion mission. Okay. My approval rating isn't high enough. People keep dying. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. This this town is kind of a death trap, I admit. Let's let's fix that a little bit. There we go. That should help. Just a little bit. Sewage problems. Let's uh let's send it off somewhere else. That's good. All right. Oh gosh, the land around those uh, pumps is looking black. Gross. All right. So it says once again, it says I'm not making money, but if you look at my revenue, it's fourteen fifty an hour. I'm only spending about six fifty, so. Ah, the ground is so disgusting. I need a sewage treatment plant. No other way around it. Just gotta have it. Gonna have to wait on some more simoleons, though. Um, man, my power, it's just, it's really barely, barely making it work. I mean, I get my city has expanded pretty good, but still, solar just isn't quite as effective as it should be. You can fix that. At a university, you can uh, you can definitely get some improvements. You can upgrade it with a concentrated solar array, but obviously I don't have one yet. 
What do you mean these don't have enough room to expand? Of course they do. There's plenty of room. Look, this, this park is big enough, and that's how big your buildings are. What's your problem? Ah, whatever. They're lying. Alright, let's get that. There we go. Oh, that upset a lot of people. I'm sorry. But I got my mansion unlocked, so that's good. Let's increase capacity. That's more than enough. Fix that. There we go. We need a mansion. Where is that going to go? Well, first we need a little money, I suppose, but... I want it up there? Nah, not enough room. It does need a little room to grow, because I have, like, extra wings and such to add. What if I put it right about there? That looks good. Huh. <laughs> the, uh, the wave of happy people just kind of, uh, going along with that, uh, high-pitched piano right there actually was pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Gotta wait for a little more time with my approval rating, but then I'll upgrade it. People like that. Yeah, they love my new city buildings. Do I want a park? Uh, eh, yeah, that's good. Since those guys, for some stupid reason, don't think they can expand. Yeah, I... Uh, I don't feel like I need to expand my bus terminal yet. I've got plenty of regional buses doing my job for me. Yeah, let's upgrade that. There we go. How about the fountain? The fountain looks good. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, that makes people happy. Oh! Alright, we got a high wealth house coming in, and uh, some sort of nice new, uh, is that a commercial or apartment building? I don't know. Something big, though. Something really big. Having a little water problems by the looks of it. It says I got plenty of water, so I don't know what's going on. Ah, there we go. Gambling HQ. Alright. Place that um, up, up here? Right there. Yeah, right there should be good. That, that works. Alright. Need lots of money for an upgrade, though. Sci-fi casinos, sleek casinos, elegant casinos. I definitely want to put the Expo Center in sometime soon. It's expensive, though. Yeah, why not? I plan on upgrading you eventually. Might as well make money for it. Alright, so let's see. Assign... Entertainment divisions... Gaming divisions... Lodging divisions. Okay. Well... It's going to be a little while before we have enough money to justify any of that. I'm not sure which one to get, but we'll see. A little room for expansion over here, but... I don't know. I don't know. It's taking them a while. Let's upgrade some of these roads for traffic's sake. Upgrade the mansion, of course. Let's get a, let's get an eagle perched up there. There we go. Yeah. Um... What needs to be done now? I'm not really sure... I think I just need to wait for some money more than anything else. Get that expo center eventually. What do you want? No! I already said no. Alright. Air pollution rising. Let's get the expo center in. Now this is hard to place. I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do. Whoa! Chief. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. You'll see why in a second because it's awkward. Right there? Yeah. Alright. Now notice the roads are like that. That's that's weird. So I'm going to delete this excess road right here because I can just make the Expo Center part of the uh, way across. The sign's in the way, though, so I'm going to have to move that. There we go. All right. Now I can put down a road like this. There you go. A little awkward placement, but it'll have to do. Let me put the sign back down now. There we go. All right, a little commercial nearby. Commercial buildings love having this thing, because it means lots of tourists. So I'm going to make a little extra room. Get some of these houses out of here. Uh, eventually. They'll get bought out. These also should be commercial. There we go. No. No houses. Um, Having power issues. Gosh. Alright. More solar arrays. Here we go. Boom. Boom. And boom. And an extra one just for me good measure. Why not? Got a little excess. I need that expo center up and running. That costs a lot of money. And these uh these apartment complexes are kind of gun blackouts, but I'll fix the economy. I promise. Although you'd probably be better off if you weren't relying on the government to do your fixing for you. But whatever. I'll do what I can. So it's a question of zoning more than anything else. Um, upgrade some roads. Definitely need to upgrade that a little bit. Since that's where everyone's going to be coming in. 
Let's upgrade some down here. Uh, here, here, and here, and here. Just the stuff around, because you never know when the residents of the city decide to go to the Expo Center. At the same time, I want to leave my industry a little room to grow. Oh, there we go. I provided more jobs. Check it out. I didn't do anything. Ha! Free market, man. Supply and demand. It came on its own. Oh my gosh, look at the fire. It's huge. All right. Little, little room to expand. Not much. Let's schedule an event. Do I want motocross, sports pro event, or do I want rock concert? Let's do motocross for now. I, it cost me $15,000, but I ha can make up to like 70 summit thousand dollars in profit. So, we'll see how that goes first, and then we'll move up to the big events. Um, land value definitely needs to be improved. Let's get a park. Actually, let's put it next to the Expo Center, because that that's appropriate. Make the tourists think the city is nicer than it actually is. Can I fit that? Yeah, I can. Nice. can fit all that in there. Beautiful. All right, 77 approval rating. I'm doing all right. Water. I need a... Yeah, let's get a pumping station. Look at all the pollution down there. Oh, this is horrible. Let's get rid of these to make some room. And a little road just to make sure I can fit it. Probably don't need it. Oh, uh, mm -mm. There? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I don't really need this road. Whoa. All right, I guess it stays. Let's bring it back out. Might as well have it there. Okay. And I don't need these anymore. I can make room for something else. A little housing or commercial. Okay. I will admit it's a little harder to comment on this video right now because it's moving kind of fast paced. Get a couple more blocks. Um, there we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Make it a little interesting, shall we? Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Classrooms are full, no surprise. Oops, I forgot that place. Now, do I want a high... Yeah, let's get a high school. Let's see where I can put it. Right about here? Is there room for a classroom? I think so. That's good. Kaboom! Get a classroom, because I know I need it. Uh, some more buses. There we go. Kaboom! It's nice having lots of excess money, so you can you can do some stuff like that. Garbage is all right. That solar array is huge. It's kind of sad how huge and ugly it has to be, but let's see. Can I fit any more trucks along? Sir, no, nope, no, can't. All right, get rid of that. It was worth trying. Man, it's so big. I could fit literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skyscrapers in that much space. Not including the wa ha 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 traffic. What I tell you, the Expo Center, man, it just it goes nuts. Let's fix up all these avenues, make it possible to get around nice and fast. Um. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. It's like it's like hosting Comic Con or or um. Was it C3? I don't know. E3. I'm sorry. That's it. E3. Conventions. Crazy stuff. He's get these fixed up a little bit. The traffic is just so bad. <laughs> Love George Gershman. Okay. Um, oh wow, we got a, we got a real skyscraper going on there. Yes, I agree, we do need a landmark, unfortunately we're out of time, but you know the drill, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment, and uh, I'll get back to this pretty soon.